Question number one says that a copper wire which is 3 millimeters in diameter is wound about a cylinder whose length is 12 centimeters and diameter is 10 centimeters so as to cover the curved surface of the cylinder. We have to find the length and mass of the wire assuming the density of copper to be 8.88 grams per centimeter cube. So this is the cylinder whose curved surface area is to be covered with this wire. So the cylinder has got a diameter of 10 centimeters so we can calculate its radius to be equal to 10 centimeters divided by 2 and that gives us the radius as 5 centimeters. Its height as shown here h1 will be equal to 12 centimeters. Now we can calculate the radius of the wire with which we have to cover the curved surface area. So R2 will be equal to 3 millimeters by 2. But to convert it into centimeters, it will be 0 0.3 centimeters divided by 2 and that is 0 0.15 centimeters. Now it can be observed that one round of wire will cover 3 millimeters height of cylinder or 0.3 centimeters height of the cylinder. So the next thing that we can calculate with this information is the length of wire in one round which will be equal to the circumference of the base because one round is one circle and the circumference of the circle is calculated with the formula 2 pi r. We can substitute the value of r as r1 because we are considering the circle at the base of the cylinder. So the answer will be 10 pi. The length of wire in one round will be equal to 10 pi. So with this we can now calculate the number of rounds which we require to cover the complete curved surface area of the cylinder. So as we can see here the total height is 12 and one circle or one round will cover only 0.3 centimeters of height of the cylinder. So the total number of rounds will be 12 centimeters divided by 0 0.3 centimeters. So that gives us 40 rounds. 40 rounds will be required to cover the entire curved surface area of the cylinder. So the length of wire in 40 rounds will be equal to 10 pi times 40. So we write it as 40 times 10 pi and that will be equal to 400 times 22 by 7 and that gives us the answer as 12.5. 57 meters. We have finally converted the length of the wire which is required in 40 rounds in meters instead of centimeters. So we are done with the first part of the question wherein they had asked us the length of the wire. Now we'll go on to the next part of the question where they are asking us to find the mass of the wire assuming the density of copper to be 8.88 grams per centimeter cube. Now to calculate the mass of the wire, we first will need to find the volume of the wire which was required to completely cover the curved surface area of the cylinder. So we know that the volume of the wire will be equal to the area of cross section of the wire times its length. So if we take the area of cross section of the wire, it will come as a circle. So we have to find the area of the circle. So it will be equal to pi r2 square times the length of the wire. So let's substitute the values. We get it as i times 0 0.15 the whole square times 1257.14 centimeters which is the length of the copper wire in centimeters. So the answer that we get for this is, on simplification is 88.898 centimeter cube. So this is the volume of the wire which was required to cover the curved surface area of the cylinder. Now the next part is to find its mass. Now mass equals volume times density. So the volume is 88.898. And its density as given in the question is 8.88. .8. So 
So in multiplying these two numbers, we get the product as 789.41 grams. And this is the mass of the copper wire used in this question. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.